Top-ranked Michigan was outshot and outscored in their CCHA opening game October 21st at Northern Michigan. Well, it's disappointing, uh, you know, that we came up here to play uh, better hockey than we played. Uh, certainly didn't want to get in the penalty problems that we got into and uh, put ourselves behind the eight ball. But uh, that's the way the game was played and that's the way it was called. Michigan took 11 penalties totaling 44 minutes. Goalie Sean Hunwick was given a major penalty and game misconduct midway through the second period when his emotions boiled over after a collision. We can't have our senior captain, one of our captains, uh, losing a school like that, no matter what happens. So, yeah, we need to, we'll address that. Hockey's an emotional game, and when uh, someone takes one of your goalie, I mean, there's nothing you can really do to stop yourself from going after them. And, you know, uh, Sean made a mistake today, but uh, everyone makes mistakes, and everyone's got their emotions. And, um, you know, sometimes you just can't control it, and you just got to do what you got to do. Sophomore Adam Janicek entered the game between the pipes and made some big stops, but the Wildcats eventually broke through with two goals in the second period. Adam didn't, hasn't really gotten a lot of experience in the net yet, but um, you know, we'll just keep playing the way we do. And you know, if it's uh, coming back a little harder for him, because we know he hasn't had much experience, then that's what it was. But I think he played really well, and uh, it's good to get him some experience, because you never know what can happen. Sean could go down or get kicked out like that, so um, it's good to have him in the net. We only have two goalies on the trip, and uh... And, and, you know, that's the dilemma, really. When they kick a goalie out like that, what if the other goalie gets hurt? You know, what are you supposed to do? So, it, anyway, it was Adam has been solid in practice, and uh, he's had some game experience, so good for him. He gave us a chance. You know, he won't like the, the last goal in particular, but uh, for the most part, he gave us a chance. Michigan scored once in the middle period, then tied the game up at 3-3 in the third period. I just think we just not wait till the third period to get our game going and make plays. Uh, we just took it off the first two periods and then we buried a couple in the third, but we need to do that in the first. In the third, I thought we were playing a lot better, but you know, we, you don't come up here to play one period. You come, here, come up here to play three each game, so um, have to do have to be better tomorrow. Well, I liked our third period. I thought we got back in the game and we had the momentum and then, you know, you give up a maybe a soft goal and we just couldn't get it back. But this is CCHA hockey. It's a battle every night. Every team is as good as the other team. And, you know, you just, you, you can't play the game from the penalty box. That's number one. You know, we give up, a, we lost a key face off that cost us a goal and uh, little things like that. That's the difference in the game. Michigan goes for the series split Saturday night at the Barry Event Center. Look for those game highlights and post-game comments Sunday right here on mgoblue.com.